It's good news week. Someone's dropped a bomb somewhere, contaminating atmosphere and blackening the sky. It's good news week. My name is Mary Olson. I live here in Asheville, North Carolina. I work for a national organization based in the Washington, D.C. area called Nuclear Information and Resource Service. We go by our initials, N-I-R-S, because that's shorter. And we have a great website, especially for people who want detailed information, not so much for beginners, uh, www.nirs.org, so the initials of the organization. I joined the staff, a relatively small staff, but we have thousands of concerned people involved as supporters nationwide. And we have a extension at the global level called World Information Service on EDGY, or WASE. And I joined the staff in 1991. And the reason I dropped what I was doing, which was very different, and stepped up to this issue was that at that time, the federal regulators of radioactive waste in the civilian side, not the nuclear weapons side, but the energy side, were moving towards deregulation of radioactive waste, meaning it could be treated as non-radioactive, even though it really was radioactive, just by writing it down on a piece of paper, just by passing a rule. About one-third of the so-called low-level radioactive waste in this country the civilian sector, which is mainly making electricity, splitting atoms at power plants, is 95% of the radioactivity in all the waste in this country. And so in the low level division, it's still most of the volume and most of the radioactivity. And that's what they were thinking about deregulating. Not the really concentrated stuff, but a large amount of other stuff. And when I found out about this, it was called Below Regulatory Concern. Below Regulatory Concern. I said it's not below my concern, because I already understood, I already knew full well that radiation can harm our bodies from such a small dose that you can't even measure it. Now, not every small dose causes a cancer, but about half of the cancers result in death. And even one radioactive emission hitting one cell has the potential to cause a cancer. Yes, our bodies have repair mechanisms. No, not every dose makes a cancer. But yes, a lot of the cancer in our society, in our world right now, is caused by naturally occurring radioactivity, radioactivity from nuclear weapons tests, radioactivity from mining uranium, from processing uranium through six steps, through operating over 120 reactors in the history of this country, and then the most concentrated waste, which is not what they were talking about deregulating, but still is this enormous problem, uh, is the result of all of that. It's a tremendous body burden, and some of it's already in our bodies. And any more on top is increasing the risk, not only of cancer, but other types of genetic malfunction that manifest as other types of illness, reduced immune function. We have a long history of uh, mutagenic and teranogenic activity on primary germ cells that results in deformed and otherwise mutated children. Um, it's, a, it's a long list of potential problems, none of which are covered by the nuclear industry, all of which are borne by the victims. Did you hear last year about the Environmental Protection Agency raising the accepted level of background radiation level? When I got my job in 1991, they said that people, on average, because there is no one background level, every site on Earth gets a different amount of radiation, every person on Earth gets a different amount of radiation. So background is a theoretical construct, it's an average. And when I got my job, they said it was 100 millirems a year. Now, a millirem is a false concept to begin with, but it was 100. And now they're saying 360, and I think they actually are trying to push it even higher, closer to 600. Didn't it mathematically work out to be where the ratios in human lives were 
in within 30 years, originally the background radiation level, which was acceptable, was one out of 10,000 people would die of cancer-related illnesses uh, due to radiation exposure or background radiation. Now they've moved it to the extreme of one out of 27 people will die to radiation-related illnesses or cancers within 30 years. Well, we're kind of blending concepts there. Background radiation should be a statement of what is happening. What, you know, how much radiation are people getting, not counting what? We don't know what we're right. not the counting, synthetic but and what natural. we are counting, etc. So right. there's different ways it's reported. You have to look carefully at it to not be comparing apples and oranges. Like when they went up to 360, they were including the um, radon. That our houses that are more efficient and closed in, the radon builds up. So we get a higher radiation exposure on average across the United States from radon. Okay, all right. You can say that's background. A lot of it's from bomb making sites and uranium mining sites, but okay, all right, we'll put that in. Now they've added all of nuclear medicine as being background where nuclear medicine is not homogeneous. Some people have it, other people don't. So, you know, it's malarkey. And basically what they're doing is creating an envelope into which the nuclear industry can just, excuse this, but I'm gonna say it, fart, you know, do their doo-doo out into our air, our water, our right. food, our bodies, um, to fill up. You know, they've, they've created an, a, a false construct of how much is already out there so that as the radioactive pollution comes into our environment, it's acceptable because they said it was there already when it wasn't. So, you know, it's a farce. It's a farce and it's about spending our money to kill us. Are you aware of the, Geo the United States Geological Survey uh, mapping the radioactive plumes coming in from Fukushima originally in March of 2011? Sure, but I'll tell you right now that atmospheric nuclear weapons test was a higher level of dose for the people of this country than Fukushima releases to date, and that most of what people have been picking up is probably from their local reactors because it's all being masked under the idea that it's all Fukushima. Have so you... if Fukushima is a huge, huge, huge global issue, is it a very potent local issue in North Carolina? I'm not going to dismiss it, but Oak Ridge is sending radioactivity from five incinerators of radioactive waste in Oak Ridge. Tell me that the mutations, cancers, and other problems in North Carolina are unrelated to Oak Ridge. Plus, we have Sharon Harris, and we have the Savannah River site. We have the, we have the, the in largest. Charlotte. We have the nuclear facilities. We're right. basically we have nuclear We're radiation. We're a wash. Right. We're a wash. Is everywhere. We are a wash. Thank you.